What's going on? All right, fuck y'all too. Here's the deal. Like this place, man, it's a nice place. It's good to be here, good to get in, no hassle, no problem. A lot of times I go to different clubs and venues and they got a dress code. If you're not hip to a dress code, a dress code is supposed to be a list of shit that is the appropriate attire for a specific place. But it's never that as much as it is a list of shit that a certain group of people wear. Next time you go to a club, I want you to read a dress code. Read what it say. Just read what it say. No do-rags, no jerseys, no tall tees, no hoodies, no sneakers. Just say it, no niggas. I can read. <laughs> Don't lie to me. That's what you really said. And it's the fucked up part. It's like, that means that this is the stuff I can't wear. That means I can wear anything else. That means I can go in any club with a full Batman outfit on. <laughs> That's completely all right. I can go in that bitch with an Iron Man outfit, repulsor rays and everything. But God forbid I wear a Tracy McGrady jersey. Now this place ain't got no class. Fuck you. I'm gonna make my own club. I'm gonna have me a dress code. I'm gonna have me a white dress code. <laughs> I'm gonna say no Uggs. <laughs> no cardigans and no, <laughs> no khakis. They'll burn that bitch down. <laughs> I done moved out to LA. I'm trying to date. It's hard. It's women's fault. <laughs> I be on Tinder all the time, man, and that shit don't work, dog. Like, I be on Tinder. Y'all fuck with Tinder? It's just me and this guy, that's it, all right. <laughs> the problem is women keep bringing, y'all keep bringing y'all morals to the internet. <laughs> Don't bring your morals to the internet. The internet is for buying electric scooters and fucking, that's it. <laughs> if you ain't doing that, what you on here for? Every time I go on Tinder, I be reading these girls' bios. They get all high and mighty on there. Not on here looking for hookups, just looking for friends. If you're looking for hookups, swipe to the left. Bitch, if you're looking for friends, go to the park. <laughs> we came here to fuck. I'm not the weirdo you are, you freak. Get out of here. You fucking up the fuck community with your friendship. Get, get the fuck out of here. You 27 looking for friends. It's too late, bitch. <laughs> you missed the boat. You grown. Why don't you go fuck somebody like an adult? That's how adults make friends. I don't know, it's just hard, man, because girls, they want so much from guys, and it's like y'all don't even understand. We ain't shit. We don't know nothing. We're just here to help y'all make more people. That's our only purpose, is to, that's it. That's what we're here for. Girls be wanting so much from me, man. I be dating and stuff, and they, you know, because I do comedy, and they think I'm going to get famous and leave them. And the girl's like, well, when you get big, are you going to leave me? It's like, what, what are you talking about? Of course. <laughs> you think I'm working this hard for you? I don't want you. You you broke me. I want the I want the girl for me when I'm rich. I don't know. It's just hard. That's the only reason I come down on women so hard because it's so hard right now. You got this whole Me Too movement, which is beautiful, I guess. <laughs> this all I'm saying. Harassment is twice. Like, if I say something to you one time, that's an inquiry. That ain't harassment. I'm trying to figure out where you stand. <laughs> I should be able to say whatever I want to say to you one time. I don't give a fuck if we work together. It's like, look, can I suck your pussy? You go, no, I'm fine. All right, cool, let's get back to this PowerPoint. So I was thinking... <laughs> we diversify. <laughs> one time, that's an inquiry. I ain't... You might be dirty. I don't know you yet. Now, if I say it twice, can I suck your pussy? No. Can I suck your pussy, please? I go to jail. I, I'm with that. But the first time, you got to take that on the chin, baby girl. All right, listen. <laughs> Damn, I done just killed my career before it started. 
It's okay. All the shit I say up here, don't listen to it, because I'm stupid. I went to public school. Public school don't teach you shit. You ever think about that? How much time of hours they wasted in public school? What other thing can you go to for six hours a day, 150 days out of the year, studying shit and not become a professional that? <laughs> like fucking math, science. Oh, I mean, I ain't no scientist. I studied this shit for 12 years. <laughs> I don't know nothing. I've been jumping rope for three weeks. I feel like Muhammad Ali already. <laughs> All throughout school, they taught me bullshit. Math class, learning nothing. Science class, learning nothing. Like, I know how to find the height of a tree using the shadow that it casts. <laughs> but I gotta call my mama every time it's time for me to do my taxes. Why? Fuck that tree, cut it down. <laughs> Tell me, am I supposed to put a one or a zero on this tax form? That's the shit I need to know. <laughs> Science class, I learned about an igneous rock, a metamorphic rock, a sedimentary rock. Remember that shit? Fuck rocks, I don't smoke crack. <laughs> Why am I learning this shit? Teach me something I can use, like how to do a, a pressure point abortion. That's some shit. <laughs> Y'all can suck my dick, that's funny. You know you'd use it, somebody come up to you, I'm pregnant. <laughs> Not no more. Get the <laughs> 